Hello. Welcome to Mark's Garage. Hello. Uh, you join me on the lathe. I've just taken this lump of metal and skimmed the diameter down uh, and faced off the end and I've skimmed it down to fit in the end of this piece of tubing. It's stainless tubing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it out, turn it round and put a centre on this end and then you'll see why I want to do it, why, why I want to do that. Okay, back in a little bit. Going a little bit too far there. Oh well, never mind. Okay, I'll take it out now. This is the one that was on the car, and you can see it's corroded there at the end. There's a lot of crud in it. Quite a lot of build up there, so I thought I'd replace it with a stainless pipe while I've got it disconnected. I'm just having to think about it because. I've cut that a bit long. What I want to do is put some grooves in it. So I'm just going to put some marks on it where I want the grooves. And then hopefully, yeah, I should be able to do that on the lathe. So I will bring it back when I can show you some more. I think that's where I that's where I want the grooves like that and like that I think it moved in the truck then. Not cutting very well, is it? Okay. Well, it's like the desired effect, but I'm not sure it's working quite right. But anyway, it, it is sort of working. I think it's moving in the truck, hence making like a wider groove. I'll turn it round and do the other end.
too bad, I think. So th those are my grooves. You can see I missed the marks, but I, in my mind I knew I wanted to go a bit longer than the marks. Uh, this tip isn't actually very good, but it is cutting it. And you can see that this is, you know, fits quite well in the end. That's quite a handy little slug, you know, to do that sort of job. So there's my tube. Not too bad really, not too bad. So I can cut that off in the um, cut that off in the saw now. And uh, you know that'll that'll go. That'll go there. That'll be okay, I think. So let's get that sawn off. Can you see that my saw cut it at an angle? It's not very good, is it? Okay. Back in a bit. I'm going to try and do something clever. Yeah, I'm not very pleased about the way that the saw's cutting. What I hope I've done is left a couple of little tags there, one there and one there. And you'll see why in a minute. Mm, okay. Not overly pleased with the cut, but not too bad, I think, not too bad. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I've got in mind back in a little bit. So there's my tube trimmed off and there's two little tags there and the idea is that and that I'll file these little slots out and the tags will bend over and hold it. There is a little hole there that I want to leave now I'm going to say that that's the top and that's where the seam is in the tube so that's aligned with that. Okay. So uh, I'll probably actually just file these. Uh, I have tack welded these in the past, but I only have MIG and I can only weld with uh, mild steel wire. So the weld wants to try and rust. So I'm going to try a, a mechanical method of holding it in place on this one. Okay, I'll bring it back when there's more to show. Uh, I just test fitted the thing in place and um, it's a good job I didn't bend them over because I just realised I'll put it in backwards but so I'll, I'll take it out again and try again. Not bad though, you know, for a first first trial. In my mind I'm thinking, uh, you know, light toss, like um, Cold War Motors, but who I admire greatly. Okay, so that's it. So that's in place. So it's just a case of bending that little tag and bending that little tag. And that should be okay, I think. Okay, that wasn't difficult at all. I just put it on there, held it with one hand and just hammered it gently. No need to go mad. You know, they they will retain it. 
I don't know how malleable this metal is or if it's brittle. As long as there's no sharp edges here that would damage the hose. So I think that's not too bad. And that will fit in place. And that will fit in place now, there. Now the other one of course is slightly shorter because of the offset. So each one of these is being done to a specific length. Okay, let's put it in place and let's see how it looks. I've just test fitted it and it fits okay, but what I thought I would do is upgrade it to um, upgrade it to these stainless clamps like I've got on the truck. I've got some here, and what I can do is Whatever I'm short of, I can borrow off the 32 because that hasn't got any water in it. And then I'll count up how many I need and I'll, I'll order some more to put on the 32. Um, that one will go there for instance. These are uh, 51 to 55s. to be like that doesn't it okay so that goes there oops sorry for shaking the camera I need two hands though sometimes okay so that goes like that so that will go there that will go there yeah, I'll probably put it around the, the back like that Might turn that one over. That one can go like that. I'll turn that one over. I like to get them so they look nice, you know. Right, let's. Uh, that one will go like that, I think. This one can go. So I'm pointing all over the place. Like that. That one can go like that. So that can go in there. That can go on there. Everything can get rattled around and look okay. I've got an ink mark there that's just up from the groove, so that's got to go there. There's the groove, so they need to go in there. A bit close to the edge on this one, but okay, I think. That's it. Oh, now that will be like that, I think. That one will be around the back, so it's not on show so much. That one will be down there, and that one will be there. So there, yeah. So I'll just um, nip them up then, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Hello, right, that's how it looks. Doesn't look too bad, I think. Looks okay. I like this clamp, so I use these ones on the truck. But these are actually the stainless version. I've used these ones on the 32. But the 32 hasn't got any water in it at the moment. So I'm going to nick the ones off the 32. Uh, so, you know, get, and get the coupe up and running. But hopefully, I think all I need to order is five of these. And that's what they come in. They come in five. So I think I'm going to just order five of those and that will get the 32 back up to strength yeah okay right oh I've got to make the other tube yet for the other side so I'll get my dimensions and uh, get the grooves cut in okay thanks a lot then I will um, bring you back when there's more to show hello Right, um, all the hoses are back in place. Um, 
all the clamps have been swapped for the um, the stainless Michelor clamps I might reposition that one there this is similar to how I've done that side there. on that side they all run down sort of down the same side so I think I might do the same on this one here just to have a sort of uh, you know a, a symmetry um, I've also done the lower hose clamps as well I've borrowed the ones off the 32 and I'll go and order another lot now unfortunately I think I need six yeah unfortunately I think I need six so I'll have to order <laughs> I'll have to order ten I think okay never mind first world problems okay so that's a neat little job then so the, the big job on the car was swapping the water pump pulley swapping the fan belt oh I've ordered some more fan belts by the way hopefully they might be a little bit narrower so I might change that again yet um, and repairing the radiator so I've repaired the radiator changed the top tubes changed the clamps changed the fan belt changed the water pump pulley quite a few little jobs there to be honest so a good little round of work there hopefully when I put water in it now fingers crossed it won't leak okay I have some more jobs that I want to do uh, but we'll look at those another day thanks very much then you take care and I'll catch you on the next one bye hello look here's a bit of pipe that I sized up for a job and it wasn't quite right so I made a new one so I'm going to use a couple of little bits of this just to do a little job and I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute I'll cut a couple of pieces off so there we are two little bits of pipe but I'll show you what I'm going to do with them these are um these are quarter NPT petcocks. This is quarter brake pipe. And that kind of goes in there like that. Oops. So, there, so there's two pieces of pipe and there are two quarter inch petcocks. So it's very simple. You just knock that in there and when you then come to drain whatever it is you're draining When you come to drain whatever it is you're draining you've got the option of slipping a bit of pipe onto it you know to draw it off to something handy there's the other one just allows you to put a piece of hose on it not a biggie just a quickie just a little handy tip and there it is in place not tightened up yet but the idea is you've just got the opportunity to put a bit of hose on um, I drained the water out of the coop a couple of days ago and it had a conventional plug in it and um, it went everywhere all over me as well so there we are that's just a little idea quick five minute job very low cost okay hope you found that useful thanks a lot then i'll catch you on the next one bye hello um i've just been out for a like about an eight mile run in the car just to give it a run I've filled it up with water and antifreeze and um, we've just done a little errand and uh, I'm back now and when we stopped while we were out on the run there was um, there was a lot there was a little bit of water here sizzling on the exhaust um, 
but that seems to have stopped now. And what, what was also happening, now I've just lifted these plug wires up. What was also happening was that um, this one was leaking here, there, and it leaked down there. Um, so that came kind of down here. So I, I'd got some tools, so I tightened that, but I also tightened the other side. I don't know if that side was coming from there. Um, but the fan belt seems okay. It's kind of settling into the groove there, look. You know, it's not, doesn't seem to be riding quite so high. Um, there's no water around the bottom of the radiator and there's no water up here around the top of the radiator either. So my pipes seem okay. Ignore that. I've just lifted that up, Tim. Can you see how the plug wires have got burnt there from being down there? I don't know if that's new or old. So uh, you can see there's some historic little bit of leak from there. This is the water pump that I took off and changed. And I think that's okay. I can't see any problems down low, down there. The only thing I can see there is that that washer doesn't appear to be placed properly. Or maybe it is actually. Yeah, I think it's okay. And yeah, maybe it is okay. So the repair on the radiator appears to be good, which is in this region here. So that seems to be okay. Everything, you know, yeah, everything looks good. So I'm going to uh, carry on with a little round of work now, which will be like greasing the kingpins, um, adjusting the brakes, checking the wheel bearings, things like that. Greasing the steering, checking the oil, um, you know, the, the, the level in the steering box and um, checking the brake fluid level, adjusting the back brakes, just giving everything a bit of a once over. And then, hopefully, the car will be ready for the run to Pendine. Running at Pendine and then running home again. Okay, right so, jolly good then. So, success so far then with the, uh, with the repairs to the radiator. Okay, thanks a lot then, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!